Africa Progress Panel Report of 2015 explains the bold steps that leaders globally and in Africa must take. And it holds Africa's partners to account for the promises they have yet to keep. This is a moment for human solidarity. So what did Kofi Annan, the former UN Secretary General, do when he retired from the United Nations? Well, he went to a new NGO that's focused on Africa, and they just issued a report about global warming and energy in Africa and those kind of things. I want to read to you one key quote from this former UN Puba, Kofi Annan. You got to get this. Here he says, Australia, Canada, Japan, and the Russian Federation should set a clear course for zero emissions by 2050, with deep reductions by 2030. These countries might consider the far higher level of ambition set by Ethiopia, Kenya, and Rwanda. Hang on a second, so is it, is it the ambition of those countries to grow their economy or to shrink? Kofi Annan is saying he admires those three countries, Ethiopia, Kenya, and Rwanda, for wanting to reduce their Emissions. Well, of course, emissions is carbon dioxide, which is a harmless, naturally occurring gas. Surely those countries should be focused on increasing their economy and their prosperity. I mean, though Ethiopia is synonymous with starvation and famine. But Kofi Annan thinks that their shrinking economy is not the problem. Their tiny carbon dioxide is the right example. Let me give you three stats, though, to show you how screwed up this thinking is. What's the gross domestic product of Ethiopia? It's 505 bucks a year. I bet you Kofi Annan has spent $505 at lunch sometimes when he was the boss of the UN. Rwanda isn't much better, $639 a year. That's less than $2 a day. And Kenya is a powerhouse by comparison, $1,245 a year. So they're living off four bucks a, uh, a day. I know why these countries have near zero emissions because they're dirt poor. They don't have electricity. They don't have running water. They don't have cars, of course. They, they are living one step up from the Stone Age economically, and yet Kofi Annan says that is what we should aim for. Hey, Kofi, you first. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.